Hello and welcome back to Mega React. So today we're going to be reacting to The Vampire Diaries Season 3 Episode 7. Last episode, Operation Capture Stefan went in full effect. The whole team was involved. Elena, Damon, Alarmic, Alaric, <laughs> Alarmic, Alaric, Jeremy, Caroline, the whole team. They tried to get Tyler involved. We'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, they were going to capture S Stefan. I cannot talk. Blame it on the bender drill. They were gonna lock him up and try to just just keep him somewhere until they figured out this whole compulsion, turned off humanity craziness that was going on with him. But the plan could not work out because of, you guessed it, you guessed it, think about it, crazy ghost Vicky. I hate Vicky, I'm glad you're gone. I hope you stay gone this time. You suck, you suck Vicky, you suck. So Vicky, you know, manipulates her brother who is in mourning and it's not over basically losing his whole family because his mom's trash sister's dead all of his friends are vampires or werewolves or witches and, you know his life is kind of in a bad place so ghost sister manipulates him into bringing her closer into this world so she can do what kill elena because of the first witch the evil witch whatever the witch i think it's the first witch hate Klaus that much that she's like, yeah, kill Elena and we're good. I'll get you back. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Vicky. We'll get you back to doing drugs in no time. So yeah. So she decides, you know, I got to kill Elena for my own selfish needs. Either my brother considers her a close friend and probably still loves her, but I'm going to do it anyway. Cause I want back. Cause I'm Vicky and I'm selfish. That's Vicky. But, and, uh, <laughs> and that ruins the plan of, ca of capturing Stefan, they actually have him, but no, they have to let him go to save Elena. And in the end, they do some sort of mojo to get rid of, get rid of Ghost Vicky. Thank goodness, once again, hope she's gone for good. She sucks. But Stefan is now up and free and kind of knows what they had planned now and will not be caught off guard again. So they miss her opportunity. Thanks to Vicky. You suck, Vicky. Did I mention Vicky sucks? She sucks. And then we have, let's uh, talk about Tyler real quick. So Tyler is apparently sired to Klaus. And apparently that means he is tied through the blood or whatever to the to his maker. Crazy loyal to his maker. Crazy loyal, which is why every time they brought up Klaus, he didn't want to do anything against Klaus. He loves Klaus. Klaus is the man. Klaus is my bro. Klaus is the best. They got to get him over that. I don't know how that works. They got to figure something out. And we also, when we're speaking of Tyler, the end of the episode, Rebecca shows up with a tasty treat, a woman for him to eat on. And of course he does because he is a crazy hybrid who apparently has no control and is going to be, is going to be someone they have to deal with sooner or later because he is extremely powerful being a hybrid. And I think Klaus will have a whole army of Tyler's who are all sired to him and will do whatever he asks. And that's dangerous. But the whole sire thing does make sense, being vampire werewolf, the whole wolf pack mentality. Klaus is the alpha, so they would all follow him. So it makes sense, it makes sense, it's kind of cool. Speaking of cool, speaking of cool, we have Mikkel, Michael, Mikkel, I'll call them both, has been awoken by Catherine with a little bit of human blood. He didn't like that. No, he doesn't feed off living things. He drinks vampires. Thirst of the Methuselah is the flaw in the game I play. He only drinks vampire blood. So he feasts on Caroline. Not Caroline. Catherine. Jeez Louise. Benadryl moment. Actually, I'm bad with names. I can't I can't even blame it on the Benadryl. I just suck with names. So he feeds on Catherine. I'm assuming Catherine's not dead. But he is now awake. And will he help her? Will he leave without her help? In the end, though, he said he would kill Klaus. So, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. It's kind of where we're at. That's where we're going into with this episode. I've ran it a long time, I think. But, yeah, I'm super excited to see what happens. So, please come on the journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. Let's get into it. This is going to be fun. <laughs> How do you fight a ghost, Mr. Damon? Oh, Mad Ghost is getting some stuff done. How powerful is this Mason ghost? Oh, no daylight ring. Low blow, Stefan. 
Low blow. <laughs> the hell happened to you? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Stefan, dude. Stefan, you better go help your brother. Celebration of the newfound prosperity that Mystic Falls enjoyed after the war. After the founders stole from all the vampires. The founders. <laughs> They really were the cutest couple. They really were. Bonnie, what do you want me to say, Caroline? I went against the balance of nature when I brought Jeremy back to life, and now I'm paying the consequences. Well, I want you to say you're not okay. Fair enough. And a thousand times not okay with it. I just don't know what to do about it. Greetings, Blondie. Witchy. I think you got your voodoo wires all crossed when you got rid of Vicky Donovan. What do you mean, why? Because I'm pretty sure I just got spit roasted by Mason Lockwood's ghost. <laughs> what? Oh, why would you think that? Maybe because he chained me to a chair and shoved a hot poker in my chest. Do you think it's even possible to contact Lexi? I don't know. No, I didn't have an emotional connection with her. I've never even met her. Nobody likes you, Stefan. You're a son of a bitch. All these words. I forgot how much I used to care. I didn't. To be here, Stephanie. You know what, Alaric, you're right. I don't. <clears throat> but Elena's here, and I look out for Elena. Besides, there's going to be people everywhere tonight, so there's going to be lots to eat. I love even. I love evil Stephanie. Love him. I can't drop it, Rick. I don't know why this is happening, or when it's going to stop. But before it's done, I have to do this. Kiss a ghost. I'd have kissed Ghost Anna. <laughs> I'd have kissed Ghost Anna in a heartbeat. No shade thrown from me, sir. Oh my God. Is that your Grams? Grams! Grams! Welcome back! Oh, I love Grams. She's looking good, too. Anna? Whoa! True love's kiss. True love's kiss brought her back. That is Lexi. Lexi. All right, it was the spell that brought her back. Not true love's kiss. Mason, God, I miss whiskey. Look, I don't know how you're here, but you need to leave me alone, okay? Now, what kind of a friend would I be if I didn't help you out of this mess you're in? I don't want your help. You know you say that every time. I don't want your help. I don't want to get better. Leave me alone. Well, maybe you <laughs> should listen this time. Or maybe I should do this. Ooh! <laughs> well done. I'm here because you upset the balance of nature and it's your duty to set it right. Come with me. Where? Ripper Detox 101. Crash course. Nice. Nice. I, I'm sorry, Come on. Did you we don't have time. How desperate you were for my help in saving Stefan's life? Let's go. Let's get to it. I killed you. You want revenge? Get lied. Actually, I want an apology. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, man. Don't you have a family to haunt? You know your nephew was turned into a mindless hybrid minion. That's why I'm here. There, there's a weapon to kill Klaus. What do you know? I know you need to apologize. Yeah. You're right. I didn't have to kill you. I do a lot of things I don't have to do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough. First step, drying him out. Starve away the bloodlust. Strip away the temptation. <sighs> this isn't gonna work, Lexi. You can't do this. What are you doing? Ghost powers. Oh, what does he do? What is she doing? I'm doing what I do best, sweetness. I'm saving your life. Did I ever tell you how glad I am that you're dead? Oh, I missed you too, friend. Anna! Hey, man, sorry about that. No problem, buddy. Oh! Oh, so many... Freaking vampire ghosts in this town. Oh, that dude's gonna want to go for Damon or any of the founding family, to be honest. I'll do anything, I'll change. I promise. It's 
a lie. Addicts Can't lie. Say anything right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just make it stop. Please, just make it stop. You have to separate yourself from your emotions. Don't let him play on them. Hey, look at me. Look at me. I wish I'd never met you. Every single moment that I've spent with you has been a complete and total waste. That's the Ripper talking. <laughs> Once he's weak enough, <laughs> you have to cause him pain. Make him feel things. You have to make him see past the blood. Ah! <laughs> oh. I will rip you apart, Lexi. You can't. I'm already dead. Oh. What's gotta do, Elena? You you are learning the way. You gotta end this, Elena. Can't just hold off just for your boyfriend. I didn't. She said she didn't take it. Oh, and you believe her? You know, yeah, yeah, I do believe her. You know what? You're an even bigger idiot than I thought. So wake up, Jeremy, before you lose everything. <laughs> She's a great friend. She's a great friend. The kind of friend we all need. Everyone needs a Caroline in their life. Are we still We're sure not. this isn't a trap? You have trust issues. Anyone ever tell you that? Vein soaked. Yo. Blades or something? Help me, brother. Help. And I know it's wrong. And I, I know that I shouldn't feel this way, but I do. I love people her. in this family just love the dead. <laughs> I've always loved her. She's dead. Gone. So, Stefan. What you're holding on to is in the past, Jer. Are you going to love a ghost for the rest of your life? Are you? Are you, Elena? Anna, did you really take it? Aww. Can't trust a ghost. I don't need revenge, Damon. I need redemption. Yeah. He loves his family more than he hates you, man. Okay. Redemption. Jeremy's redemption arc. I just... I don't want to be alone anymore. Look at me. I feel so bad for Anna. I feel so bad for Anna. She was so nice and so sweet. They did her wrong in this show. So wrong. And I'm gonna, making me sad. <laughs> oh. Not happening. Can't enter. Mojo. Did you kiss any ghosts on the way over here? <laughs> That would have been a great line. He's still in there, Lena. You just have to break through. This music is hitting it, right? Oh, Anna. I hope you see your mom before you go. Oh, I hope y'all get the hug. Swear to God, if you don't let them hug, I swear. Alright. I'm not crying. I'm not teary-eyed. I'm so proud of you. You're here. About time. Lark, yes. Do you have anyone else to call? No, actually, I don't. I haven't given up, Stefan. I still have hope. But there's nothing that I can do until you get yours back. Fight for it. Feel something, anything, Stefan. I won't love a ghost for the rest of my life. Right? Right? At least she knows it. At least she knows it. You need to go. Just go, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy. You, you made out with a ghost, dude. There's no coming back from that. There's no coming back from that. I found something. What is it? What is it? Oh, like ancient drawings? I have no idea. I have no idea either. This is some ancient old school shit. Great episode. Great episode. I'll be right back with you. That was the Vampire Diaries Season 3, Episode 7. What an amazing episode. So good. So good. One of the best of the season so far. So we had the barrier between the spirit world and the real world completely almost shattered. Anyone with a grievance was able to come back. So we had so many characters from the past. You know, we have uh, Lexi, 
We have Anna. We even got to see Pearl. We've seen the Tomb Vampires. I mean, it was fantastic. It was fan freaking tastic. It was so good. I love seeing old characters. It was also sad. It had some sad moments. I'll get to that in a minute. So, so uh, Bonnie Grams comes to Bonnie. We get Grams. She's got to destroy the necklace. It is what is tying the like first witch to the world. We gotta get rid of it. I'm thinking to myself, super, super duper powerful magic item. Can't be that easy, but whatever. That's our plan. Let's do it. We got Ghost Grams helping us. It's gonna be great. Well, we have Ghost Lexi comes back to help Elena and uh, Stefan. She's you know gonna try to break him from from his his ri Ripper Ripper. I cannot talk. His Ripper mode. Get him out of Ripper mode. So she's kind of trying to trying to show Elena what she has to do. And it's brutal. It's brutal. But now she knows. She has seen how dark he is and what it would take to bring him back. It's a lot for her to deal with. We got to take into account she's, what, 17 or 18? She's still a kid. So much on her shoulders. And uh, we have uh, Anna and Jeremy taking their relationship further than they should. They make out. Elena catches them. Caroline tells, <laughs> no, no. Elena catches them. Elena tells Caroline. Caroline tells Bonnie. Bonnie's super pissed at Jeremy. I get it, Jeremy. I think you're done with Bonnie. I would not forgive you for making out with the ghost of your dead girlfriend. Some things cannot be forgiven. This is one of them, all right? This is one of them. I do not condone cheating. Cheating is something I do not tolerate. I do not respect people who do tolerate it. I'm sorry. It's just the way I am. It is disrespectful to you, the other person. It's just bad. So cheating is bad. Normal cheating is bad. Cheating with your dead ghost ex-vampire girlfriend or your vampire, your, your ex-girlfriend vampire's ghost. Your ex-girlfriend who's a vampire's ghost. That sounds better. Your, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, your ex-girlfriend who was a vampire's ghost. You make out with that, that's next level crazy. You're done. You're out. I can't trust you. Can't trust you around the living or the dead, apparently. Don't like it. So Jeremy, sorry, buddy. You lost your shot with me. Uh, we had Mason who came back, not for revenge, but to help Damon stop Klaus because he loves his family more than he hates Damon, which shows he is looking for redemption and not revenge. Good on you, Mason. You were always a pretty cool guy. Kind of sucks what happened to you, but it is what it is. Vampire werewolf. Y'all hate each other. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, oh, I just realized. Uh, oh. I just realized Jenna is on this picture. We didn't get to see Jenna. Why didn't we see Jenna? Where the hell was Jenna at? And Jenna should have came back. Maybe the ritual did something where she couldn't. I don't know. I got on a kind of tangent there. Sorry. I just saw her and it made me kind of sad. And yeah, where the hell is she? That sucks. But anyway, anyway. So, uh, <laughs> so Bonnie, you know, does her mojo spell. It finally works. All the ghosts are slowly going away. So, you know, Anna, Anna gets to see her mom. Finally, they get the hug. Thank God. I was so afraid they would almost get the hug and then disappear. But they got the hug and the music swelled. And then my tears swelled because of the allergies. Because of the allergies. Not because I was secret. I was secretly dying inside over this emotional, this emotional and sweet moment. It was so... Oh, I'm so glad they got some sort of closure. Uh, the other two vampires, they disappeared. Who cared? They all sucked. They were killing people. Uh, we then had Lexi disappeared, but she tells Elena before she goes that Stefan is still in there. He can be saved. You just got to get to him. And then Elena showing her maturity and how just powerful, strong she is. She is a strong character. She's a good character. I love the writing of this show. The writing of the show is good. I mean, let's be honest, Vampire Diaries is kind of a supernatural kind of drama show. And it could have went 
the Twilight route, where it's just cringy, just cringy writing and acting and everything about it. You're just kind of like, Ugh. or at least that's how that's how I viewed it. If uh, you like it, if it's your thing, more power to you. But I uh, just could not get through it. But this just has that same concept, but it is written so well and acted so well that you have these characters in these crazy situations. And for the 42 minutes I'm watching, I buy into it. Like I am in that world. I am sold on what is going on. And Elena is one of those characters that helps sell that. She is so well written, so well acted, such a strong, powerful character. Love her. And you know, she she tells her brother early in the episode, you know, you can't be with a ghost, you can't chase a ghost, you can't be in love with a ghost because they're not really here. And I said to myself, and I said to all of you, you're in the same situation. You know, she's in this, and I thought she was blind to the fact she was in the same situation. She was not, because in the end of the episode, she even brings it up. Like, I will not wait for a ghost forever. Because right now, the man she loved is a ghost. He's not here. He is in the past. And the fact that she even knows that shows how well written of a character she is. She's not blind to her own situation, to her own circumstance. And I love her for it. Absolutely love her for it. It was great. And uh, so, yeah, so everyone's disappearing. Lockwood, Mason, disappears. And Damon can't get to where he was because of Magic Mojo. It's a cave. Maybe the cave was Caveman's home. It's owned by some. I don't know. So he gets a lark to come and boom, cave drawings. Probably of the first witch of some mojo. Maybe a, a map to the weapon that can uh, maybe kill an original, but can it kill Klaus? I don't know. Great episode, though. Great episode. Great episode. We closed out the whole ghost part, I think. Kind of closed out. Moving on to something else. But the amulet was not destroyed. It came back because super old school magic. Maybe the necklace can kill Klaus somehow. I don't know. So many questions that I love to ask and I love to get answers because Vampire Diaries move so quick. They'll probably answer my questions in two or three episodes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fantastic is all I can say. Fantastic episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, continue to come on the journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe, Patreon. Link in the description below. Uh, this is Mega signing off.